Ape Nation, good afternoon, guys and girls. How are you today? It is Friday, September 10th, 2021. We had one hell of a battle today with the hedge funds. They tried to short ladder attack us in the last 20 minutes of the open market before the bell rang, and we were able to beat them and close this stock above $50 for the first time in a long time. We had tested it a couple times and were not able to break through, and finally today we did it. So congratulations to you guys. Unfortunately, I was at work today. I couldn't partake in the festivities. But definitely something to be proud of. And uh, I'm really excited that we finally hit this. And two things I just want to talk about. And I was looking at the chart last night. First of all, compare the SPY to AMC. Look at the difference in the percentage. 35 to 659 where we closed today. We have been as high as over a thousand. What an unbelievable ride we have been on, guys, huh? The other thing I wanted to mention when I was looking at the charts last night was this run up that we had. So, if we look at the dates from the very beginning of February until our run up in June, so we had April, we had all of March, all of April, all of May. We had almost about 90 days. And if you look at when we dropped our first red candle for the day, that date was 6-10-2021. So June 10th, about seven days after we had that FOMO squeeze. And today was the 91st day and we broke through. If history repeats itself, I have a feeling, and you guys that have been watching me for a while know I don't like doing predictions, that next week will be a good week for AMC. Especially on a Friday when we know traditionally AMC does terrible. The fact we were able to stay green and keep it above 50 and let those calls finish in the money was just great for us. I mean, there is no other word to, to use. It was just fantastic. Um, but I think we're primed for another run. And the only thing that makes me nervous about saying that is broader implications of what's going on with the pandemic and the vaccine mandate and everything that could be coming in the next couple days or weeks uh, in September. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, cue the speeder. And you just said that on camera, this is going viral. Guys, thank you so much for crushing it and getting me to 1,000 subscribers. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, this is the way. And we won't ignore what our intelligence agency have determined to be the most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today. White supremacy is terrorism. We're not going to ignore that either. My fellow Americans, look, we have to come together to heal the soul of this nation. All right, guys, let's get right into this. So President Joe Biden uh, addressed Congress back on April 28th. It's usually the State of the Union address, but if it's your first year as president, it's called your address to Congress. And he very clearly laid out his plan for the country for the year, what he wants to do over the next four years. And he said that he wanted to take care of the threat of white supremacy, which is the biggest domestic threat to the homeland. So if you don't know, uh, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, is being recalled some of you might watch Meet Kevin. Kevin Pathrath is actually running against Gavin Newsom. And there's also another gentleman named Larry Elder, who is a conservative gentleman who does uh, radio talk shows. He is running on as a Republican. Meet Kevin's running as a Democrat, a JFK-style Democrat. But what happened in California this week was absolutely hard. I'm going to play a clip for you, and I want to just clear up any misconceptions about who this person was. But before we play the clip, guys, if you have small children in the room, I would just suggest maybe you ask them to leave. This is clearly adult content, and uh, what we're about to witness is pretty intense. So if you do are with young kids, maybe wait to watch it till later. But don't let me tell you about it. Roll the film. Uh, so keep in mind, he's there, and there is a woman in a gorilla mask throwing an egg at him. She punched a guy who told her to stop. She, sell, she, she yelled, take your hands off me, you... 
uh, expletive. Touch me again, touch me again. She then aimed a left hook at the man. Security guard then menaced another guy wearing all black before a second woman uh, was slapped. By the, woman, by the way, the woman right there who uh, slugs that guy with the left hook, she's on a smart bike. So while he was at a homeless encampment, Obviously, she was not from the homeless encampment because she's on a smart bike and she made a getaway. Yeah, What's well, with the Gavin gorilla Newsom, mask? That's what Candace Owens was asking. Why is she wearing a black face gorilla mask and throwing eggs at Larry Elder? If you haven't seen the video, let's start. So what really bothers me about this? First of all, I hope Joe Biden has the Secret Service out looking for this woman. This is These are the people Joe is talking about. The president clearly is worried about white supremacy. And as you can tell, the woman was on the lighter side on the skin. Um, unfortunately, she was hiding her face with a gorilla mask. Of course, she was dressed as an ape. Now, there is probably a subliminal message in there. I think maybe she was paid by Citadel, but I don't know that for sure. But what I can say is that the Secret Service should be out looking for her right now. We need to put an end to this white supremacy. I agree with the president 100%. She might be the first person we catch in the last nine months um, that's actually attacked uh, someone that is a political figure. And let me say this. Kevin Pathras, a YouTuber, he wants to run as a Democrat. That's cool, man. Go for it. Um, if he thinks he has a chance to rent, win. Uh, Larry Elder is running as a Republican. He's a conservative talk show host. Everyone has the right to run for governor. If they think they have a shot to win and they can raise the money, go for it. I don't think... I don't know what she was even so mad about. Uh, the reason that she is at a homeless encampment on a smart bike uh, has nothing to do with Larry Elder. He's been on the radio for the last 20 years. Gavin Newsom is the one that put her in a homeless shelter and riding a smart bike. Again, I hope the Secret Service finds her and we can nip this in the bud and root out this white supremacy because it's bothering me every time I hear it. Um, but I know for sure one thing I can say she is definitely not a member of Ape Nation. She might have donned the mask for this attack, but I know that any of my subs or followers would condemn it as well as I do. This is not the behavior of apes. All we want to do is fix the stock market and get AMC to squeeze to the moon. That is our only objective. We don't care who's running for governor or who wins. Uh, but good luck to Larry Elder and Kevin. Whoever may, may the best man win. That's all I can say. Okay, moving on. So a couple days ago, I made that video about the MOAS question that was posed to Adam Aaron. He had come on with Fox Business. He was really excited about the commercial. And it seemed like a lot of other people were too, that he was investing money um, back into the company and trying to get people reinvested in the theaters, maybe bring on some new apes to buy the stock. And this unbelievable piece of Charles Gasparino had to come on to Twitter and I picked this up, and he's talking about security lawyers tell Fox Business continued touting of an AMC MOAS could constitute securities fraud as evidence of a short squeeze remains slim. What is it that gets Charles Gasparino so riled up? I understand all of his buddies are in deep shit right now. I should have used a bleep button. They're in a lot of trouble right now. And the fact that he's coming on here shows me how desperate they are. What is it that Charles Gasparino, what is he so interested in AMC for? What is it about the MOAS that has him so riled up? And this is just continuing to give me conviction in this play. And I really, truly believe that they did not see us coming. And as time goes on, the more I see these people and how desperate they're getting, I realize, I mean, look at this article from this week. Talking about retail investors were not were net sellers of AMC for the first time since February. It's just unbelievable. I mean, these guys are so desperate right now. And it, and it just really helped reaffirm everything I believe in this short squeeze play. Let the fundamentals be what they are. And like I said in the video, I think AA's done a good job overall. I think he killed our MOAS, but he's doing a good job with the fundamentals. And I know that that's not a huge issue when it comes to a short squeeze, but it doesn't hurt. And I just, I find this desperation of these guys to be overwhelmingly positive for this movement. And guys, look, we are changing the rules day by day as time goes on. 
They are making specific rule changes. Not that anybody's following them yet, but they are being made. And at some point, it's going to... The market will correct itself, and these will be implemented, and hopefully they'll be followed up on, and it won't just be fines anymore because the fines don't make a difference. People need to go to prison. The fines have not worked. They didn't work in 2001. They didn't work in 08, and they're not working in 2021. And next time we see a major market correction, and these guys are to blame because it's not going to be on us. We're not taking short positions. We like the stock. They're going to be the ones to blame, and people need to go to the clink. All right, last thing I want to tell you about, two, well, two things. First of all, I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow. Uh, it's the 20th anniversary of September 11th. I'm going to tell you guys my personal story about being in New York. Um, I'm not going to say any more than that. I'm just going to tell you that. So you guys stay tuned and be ready for that video. It's a pretty crazy story. Um, but that will have to wait for tomorrow. And another video I'm going to be working on for this weekend is this whole 100000 this 100K AMC price. I've thought about it for months now. I think I've finally come up with what my plan is going to be for exiting this stock and also what the chances are that AMC could truly go to 100000 I There's been a million videos out there, and I know I'm sure you guys have heard a million different stories, but I've been trying to take my time to really look at this from every different possible angle and i think i've come up with a pretty solid idea of what we might see when she pops all right guys that's all i've got for today again congratulations guys thank you for all your continued support the likes the views the comments everything you guys just rock i love all you guys thank you so much and enjoy your weekend i'll have videos coming out for you uh and congratulations again on today this is Ape Nation, I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out. <laughs>